If you're looking to make transactions on the Binance Smart Chain, one of the most popular ways to do that is using MetaMask. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the MetaMask wallet and then connect the Binance Smart Chain to it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna begin at my desktop and I have Google Chrome here opened up. And I'm gonna install MetaMask. If you haven't done it already, you just go to metamask.io and you can click on the download link over here. Select the device that you're using. I'm doing this on a Windows 10 PC and I'm using Chrome, so I'm gonna leave that as is. And then I'll click on Install MetaMask. It's gonna take us to the Chrome Web Store. We can click on Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. So there we go, we get a prompt over here. Uh, you can turn on syncing, but it's gonna install it automatically and we have it all set up. In this video, I'm gonna be setting up an existing wallet, but if you wanna set up a completely new wallet, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps of creating a new one. So I'm gonna import my wallet right now and I'm gonna say, I agree. And I just need to put in my secret phrase here. I'll put in a password as well and then check the agreement to terms of use and then click on import. And now we have it all done. So it's set up. So MetaMask is now installed. Okay, and what we wanna do is add the BNB smart chain or the Binance smart chain to it. So I'm just gonna open up another tab over here and I'm gonna to go to this URL. I'll put this link in the description below. This is right off of the Binance website. And I'm just going to, let me just move it over here so we can stack them next to each other. So now they're side by side, it's just a little bit easier to see. I'm gonna scroll down here and we'll get the configuration for the wallet. And what we wanna do is get the mainnet. Now there's also a testnet, uh, which we're not gonna be using because that's for testing. We're gonna be using the mainnet right over here. And these are the specs that we're gonna be adding into the MetaMask wallet. Inside MetaMask, you have the Ethereum mainnet up here at the top. We're gonna add a new network. So we're just gonna click on this link over here. And down we have the add network option. So we'll click on that. And this is where we're gonna enter in all the information. So I'll scroll down a bit here and we wanna put in the network name. So the network name, we're just gonna copy it over from here and then paste it in. And now we need the new RPC URL, which is this. We'll highlight that, copy it, paste it in. And then the chain ID is 56. We'll put that in as well. And then this currency symbol, symbol is just gonna be BNB. There we go. And then the explore URL, which is right over here. Copy that, paste it in and we have it completed. So now all we have to do is save it, and there we go. So we have the BNB Smart Chain now added to MetaMask. We don't need this window anymore. Again, I'll be putting this URL in the description below so you can easily find it. Close it out, and let me expand this window. Now here at the MetaMask main window, if you wanna switch between the networks that you're on, you just have to click on this arrow over here, and you can switch between uh, Ethereum and Smart Chain. I already had Avalanche added. You can check out this video if you wanna see how to add the Avalanche network. So I'm gonna be leaving the smart chain on right now. So now we're just gonna test the wallet out, make sure it's working properly. And what a lot of people like to do is use PancakeSwap. So I'm gonna to connect to PancakeSwap using the MetaMask wallet. So I'm just gonna go over here. Okay, so we have PancakeSwap. So this is the main website, pancakeswap.finance. And what we're gonna do is connect our MetaMask wallet. So over here on the right-hand side, you see connect wallet. And now you have the option to connect your wallet with it. Now, MetaMask is not the only wallet you can use. You can use a Wallet Connect or Trust Wallet. So we're gonna be using the MetaMask wallet. We're just gonna click on that. And it's gonna ask us for authorization here. So there is the prompt and then we click on next and we can click on connect. Now you'd only wanna to connect to websites that you trust and know. PancakeSwap is a trusted website, so we'll make sure that we have the correct URL at the top first. So we're connected to the pancakeswap.finance website. If you had crypto in your wallet right away, you would automatically see it in here when you just click on the wallet option. Uh, I don't have anything in my wallet, but I can transfer it. You have your address right over here where you can send BNB to if you want to perform any actions. And when you're done and you don't want to be connected to the website, you can just simply click on disconnect wallet and it'll disconnect your wallet from the website. And then you're back at the main page. You can see you're no longer connected. And that's all there is to it. We've just added MetaMask to Chrome and then connected it to the Binance Smart Chain. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this video was useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for any other tutorials, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.